Hello, I'm the Educator, and this is lesson 97 for Seven Days to Die. Now, I think I mentioned in the last video that this one was going to be a little bit different. Um, I had a comment on one of my videos, and I'm sorry, I totally forgot who um, who mentioned it. But uh, they mentioned you would think, with all the interest in in iron, you think someone would make a video on how to find it. And uh, there may be some videos out there. I didn't actually go and look to see if there were. I just thought, you know what? I, I want to try to figure this out on my own. I want to see if if there's some way of knowing where to find iron. And I was uh, in my... Mm, mm, uh, what am I calling it? I always call it my cave. Um, my underground area my my tunnels whatever um, I was doing some mining and I'm kind of I started I don't know wherever my hole is my hole is over here somewhere and I started making a path to my home because I figured it'd be pretty cool to be able just to go down underneath my home find the path and then and then go out underground and start making some branches and whatnot um, and I couldn't find any iron until I got to certain spots. And certain spots were where I found just maybe even a little bit were these little black spots. And I thought, well, if that's true, then I should be able to find a really big black spot like this one here. I should be able to dig down and possibly uh, find something. So um, I came uh, over here to this big black spot. First of all, I noticed that it's a it's bare, right? It's just rock, so I had to cut through the rock. Um, I have uh, I counted these and then promptly forgot something like thirty six. So I dug straight down. I figured I would dig straight down until I found found some some iron um, or you know uh, whatever the other metal is. I've completely forgotten. Let's see what is it. I'm gonna pick some up. Lead. Okay. So, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-five. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 35. Okay, and as soon as I got down here, I noticed, oh, dang it, there's some underneath my my um, my ladder um, when I got down to 35 I finally found a vein now this is lead here you can tell because of the color it's kind of bluish oh poop um, I'm gonna go ahead and just make a new one and I'll also go ahead and repair this one. Oh shoot, should have done that in the other order. Alright, come on now, all I'm doing is sitting here. So I you know, honestly this doesn't make um, this doesn't make it true. So what I'm going to do, because it's getting late, so I thought I would just stick around here and uh, and do some digging. Um, because I could use some more iron just because it's good and you could always use it. Um, and then tomorrow what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a different hole. And, I mean, a different black spot, a big one. And uh, I'm going to dig down and see. Now this reddish, what is this reddish? I don't know this reddish. Just a crazy color of the rock, possibly. I don't really know. Now also when you get down this deep, I find that whenever, like over here, do you hear that? The sand? The dirt? I find that that's usually an indicator that there's probably some more. Okay, so your metal your iron, your lead, are going to be, I don't know if it's, I can't say it's surrounded, 
but it's definitely close to sand at this deep of a level. This red is really interesting, and I, I don't know that I've ever seen it. Um, weird. So I hear it some more. Now it could be that I've already dug that that out, and there may not be any behind this. All right, so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep messing around here. I'm gonna pause, and uh, and I'm gonna come back tomorrow and see if there is. Uh, you know, anything to my theory that it's the black spot and it's about 35 down. And uh, if that's true, then uh, I should figure that out on even the very next one. So um, I'm going to see you in a minute. All right. Okay, guys. So I have come to my second... Uh, large patch. I mean, obviously really close to home and really close to this other one that I was at. So I've uh, come over here and I dug down. Again, I went about 35. As it turns out, I guess I could be more specific than just number of, uh, of boxes that I used. It's about negative um, 16 meters. About Let's see. Negative 18. Oh, okay. So I probably went a little bit low. Um, anyway, I started digging. Dig I mean, you can see huge, right? Didn't work. I even went down a little bit more. I was like, well, maybe I just need to go down a little bit more. Didn't find it. Thought, you know what? I'll just go down to bedrock. Let's just keep going. And uh, we'll see what we can find. And... Um, I found some. Now, I don't know how much this is going to be, and I don't know if this is just random, and that I would have, you know, eventually I would have found stuff anyway, or if it's definitely uh, on these, these, is it under um, rock, under the, the big, the big black splotches. Um, so, it'd be interesting to see how much this is going to be. And uh, I'm not going to spend too much time digging this because I would like to, to do maybe one more and uh, and see if that, that gives me anything. Um, again, this might be completely random. And so what I should do is maybe also, maybe the fourth one is just start, um, just dig anywhere and see if I can't dig down and eventually find something. I, I probably can but so far, what I've found is that on these these dark spots, I've I've been pretty lucky um, to find something. This one I had to go down a lot lower than I thought. See, that's not much. I'd be interested to know if I if I keep going, if I just start digging in certain areas now at this at this depth, will it um, you know will I continue to be lucky? And I'm not sure, and I'm not, um, I'm more interested right now in just finding another big splotch and seeing if um, if I'm going to be successful there. Um, again, I could have just gotten lucky there and found a little something. I'd, I'd be interested. So I'll probably come back here, obviously, and keep going because you know there's little bits, and I just hit some dirt. So I suspect that there's maybe a little bit more there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find another. Um, Splotch, and uh, I'll get back to you, okay? All right, guys, I found some more. I am, um, let's see, where am I at? I'm at negative 33 meters this time. I just kept coming down, because I figured, you know, sometimes it must be deep. I'm at this spot right here, and I just kept going down until I found something. So I'm not sure what the secret is to the depth, but I just feel like if I keep, oh, like I said, if you find some dirt, I mean some sand, that's usually a good, a good sign. All right, so find sand at this depth, and there's bound to be some some sort of metal. 
nearby, all right? Lead or iron. Now, there was some dirt right there, but that could have just been surrounding what I just grabbed. Or it could be some more. So I'd be interested to find out because this is a pretty big spot, it seems like. Look at that. Look at that. All right, I don't need a whole lot of lead. I'd rather have some um, iron, but um, that's lead. Again, it's all in the color. Uh, lead is actually prettier, but it's lead, you know, so unless you're looking for red. Right there, see, there's no blue, it's shiny. That's iron. Some more iron. It's bright, okay. Over here, see, it's got some, it's, it's bright also, but it's almost a bluish gray. And that's gonna be your, your lead. There we go, look how that, look at that opening up. So there's definitely a lot down here, guys. So again, I could probably prove myself wrong by just finding a random spot. That isn't below um, one of those black splotches, but I, I've almost convinced myself that I can find um, iron if I just find a big black splotch and uh, and dig down far enough. Now, I wish I could tell you exactly what the, the uh, depth should be. I can't do that because um, I found some at like, what was it, 16 meters, minus 16 meters, I should say negative. And then um, this was negative, what, 33 or something? So, you know, I, I honestly can't tell you the depth. But it just seems to me, golly, look at all this. That uh, you find a big black splotch and start digging down. And you're bound to hit something. I mean, this is tons, tons of stuff here. Tons. All right. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to head on back to that the house. I have spent about, I don't know how many, three, three days working on this. Um, but I have three mines now that I definitely can find some, some iron in. So I'm going to head on home. I'm going to call this one here. That's my, um, that's my two cents on finding iron. I hope that's useful to you, and I, I hope that uh, you, you'll find some more. Certainly leave a comment if, if there's something wrong with what I've said. Or you, you, you definitely have a better way of doing that. Please, please let me know because iron is awesome, and uh, we, can, we need to find as much as we can so we can do things like upgrading spikes and that sort of thing. So that's it for me. I'll see you next time.